And we're back with Unforgettable Conversations. Whoop, whoop. Season three, episode eight. Seven? Episode eight. We already uh, did seven. What? What? Yeah. That was last episode. I remember that. I kind of want to blink now. So. Episode eight. So Today we got eight. the one and only Donnie Darko. What's cracking? The Skipper. Whoop, whoop. Hello. And today we have my lovely wife. Woo! I She's taken, say, you guys. I was going to say... <laughs> What's my nickname? A nickname, but... Wifey? No. Cas- <laughs> no, it, not everyone can call me that. Quesadilla? Quesadilla? No. No? No. Okay. Um, that phase is done and dealt with. Um... Uh, Mm. What do you like? Do you have any nicknames from when you were young? K-Dizzle? What about K-Dizzle? You know what's funny? My nickname in high school for a little bit was Jemima. Jemima? Jemima. Like Aunt Jemima? Aunt Jemima. Because in the Bible, my name is next to Jemima. There was three daughters. Mm. Kezia, Karen Hapuk, and Jemima. Oh. And when I told my friends this, they were like, like Aunt Jemima? And so they called me that Mama. for like a year. Oh, oh what about yeah. Sister Jemima? Jemima? Sister Jemima. I'll take Kez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Respect. So it's Kez. All right. So today we're going to be having a couple other conversations about convention. Uh, let's talk about mm. the setting, though. This is oh, yes, 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 of setting. course. Yeah. Before I even get That's started, uh, today we are in a different location. We're not in our office yeah. or we're in the, the bathroom today. We are actually in Donnie Darko's room. It's a little bit bigger. The man cave. The man cave. We, he has uh, two beds in here, a sofa, and a couple chairs. Mm-hmm. That's why he looks all comfy with his uh, snuggly over there. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody else is either sitting on a, on a sofa or on a chair. And uh, yeah, there's plenty of space here. Survive. Survive in here. He survives in here. This is his little man cave. Um, He's got a swing set over there. Don't show them. The no, we don't have to. Okay. We'll give so, you a, a, a little tour of it later on in the future. Just for fun. Just for fun. For the kicks yeah. and giggles. All right. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about convention, which actually whoop, I whoop. want I want one of you guys to tell me what convention is because a lot of the bromigos don't even know what convention is. Yeah. I mean, convention is exactly what it sounds like. It's a convention. So it's a, a group of, I mean, our convention, it's literally... It's held in Long Beach, and people from all over the U.S. pretty much um, kind of join together, and um, yeah, they they meet for like a conference. Uh, this one was like a general uh, electoral one, uh, so they were voting for who the next president, president is and all that stuff. Obama, a lot Biden. of politics and yeah. stuff. I don't like to get Trump. into it too much because you know, because um, he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're forgetting. You know, I'm, I'm a Republican, but I don't want to get into the politics. You're, you're really. forgetting one of the biggest things. It's a, it's a Christian organization. Amen. Right. Well, I didn't say that. No. Nope. You just what said are, convention is a convention. a convention. I mean, I would it's assume I would assume the the Bromigos already know that we're Christian. But still, maybe I mean, we have new viewers today, and we yeah, got to. Well, if you have new viewers, like you shouldn't be watching this one. Go back to the very first <laughs> season and go watch everything else. Check out Catch our, up. Check out our old uh, binge watch episodes. It. We yeah. are in season three. Go check out season one and two. Hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty much what a convention is. Um, yeah, uh, do you guys have any other definitions of it? I mean, mm-hmm. it's part of the Apostolic Assembly, and they call right. it, they nickname it Apocon. 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 It's kind of like um, Comic Con, but it's Apocon. Yeah, and like yeah. A, a good amount of people show up. Do you guys have like a general idea of how many people show About up? About 50, 50, 50 some, 50, 50 people. <laughs> 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 no, like 50,000. No, I'm like just kidding. Not, no, not, I, honestly, I'm not good with uh, I like, think they said like 8,000 in total for yeah. the whole entire is weekend. It, yeah. it, it, I think it can seat up to 10. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think it's only. Because it didn't really? fill up the I thought it was more. Yeah. stands where you guys were at. And, yeah, well, I mean, and I you probably could, but you you could you could, but right, but it this, gets in the way, you know, all the the lights and stuff get in the way. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, not this year. Like yeah. you could see, there wasn't like all the yeah, it wasn't like fully, uh, but it was it was packed. It was really packed. Like it got up to like the third level. So that's uh, so like probably somewhere around a solid ten thousand people showed up. Yeah, yeah. The week. If, if it seats ten thousand, then somewhere around eight to maybe almost nine. Eight to nine thousand. Yeah, it okay. said eight thousand on the. Oh, there you go. I'll go. Screen. I'll go with him. Yeah, eight thousand. Eight thousand. Um, well, yeah, they ha- they hold they hold it every single year, and uh, there's uh, actually a specific reason why a lot of individuals who are single go there, make the pilgrimage, you make know, me. the pilgrimage from each church to go mm-hmm. to Long Beach. Um, yep, roll on camel. Uh, two of our members actually went this year, which was this past 
couple. Huh? It was this weekend. It was, it was Thanksgiving. Yeah, this weekend. Weekend. <laughs> it was this I'm looking at like this these past couple of weeks. Like no, today, like, he just came. He, back just got, he just came back today, and I then Alex. The skipper came back uh, the day before that. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, how, uh, how was your guys' experience? Um, for me, it was my second time, but the first time was five years ago with this bro Migo right here. Um, it was a great experience. It was fun. It was, um, and this time it was really exciting. I was telling them the whole story of how we went out there, um, and I felt like for me it was um, it was cool. I really liked the the services that they had uh, on Friday night and then yesterday morning. And it was cool to see like the leaders um, for them to talk about the president, the vice president, the secretary, um, and all that stuff. And then our military. <laughs> no, just kidding. No military. <laughs> no uh, military. But I mean, one side point or like something that a lot of people go to is yeah, like he was saying, like a lot of young and single men and women from the apostolic assembly will join up um especially after the services and you know there's a lot of activities uh people will mingle and talk and then there's you know people were going to restaurants and then afterwards there was the after party that i was telling everybody yeah. but it was you know you know what's, what's crazy? so there's actually there used to be i this this time i don't remember there, there being one but there was things called mixers before where it, it oh, would yeah. actually be kind of like an after party um, and it was in the same hotel, uh, not in the lobby, but in the hotel. Um, but yeah, this year, I don't remember there being a, a mixer. Oh, I didn't even hear about that. Yeah. I just heard the yeah, so lobby ministry. What's the nickname? For the lobby ministry? Well, it's, that's, 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 the that's the nickname. The nickname, the nickname is so everybody would party. go. Art to party. Yeah, everybody would go to um, one of the three main hotels. Um, but it's usually always like the one with the biggest lobby. And they'd be there from like, what, midnight? Because I mean, when we we walked through like at around eleven, and yeah, was, we got there. It was still late dead. already. It was it was still dead. Oh, oh and uh, so more people it came. Starts at midnight. yeah. It's I feel like it starts at midnight. And we were there till two, but I'm sure yeah. people stayed there until like three or last 3:30. night. Last night I saw people's stories. They were there till four in the morning. Dang. Yeah, I was already knocked out by then. That's I was there. Well, okay, no, so, so, so yeah. <laughs> no, I was in bed. I was in bed. I promise. <laughs> explain, explain to the bromigos. I was in bed. So explain to the bromigos what they were doing there. Yeah. Uh, they're socializing. They're just socializing. Mm-hmm. They're you know getting to know one each other. Um, some people you know it's just talking. Other people are you know they're fishing. But you know nonetheless you know it's it's a uh, it's, it's a cool way to get to know people. You know, you you met you you met some people. I met a lot of people. I, I mean everyone there for me was new. Yeah. Like I met. Um, brothers and sisters from all around the state and from yeah. some girls from Arizona, some mm-hmm. guys from, um, there was a girl from, uh, L- London. London. Yeah. London. The last yeah. person yeah. we were, we made contact with was this yeah. girl. She was from London and she was funny. And then like we were talking, like she was telling us everything about her life over there. And, um, but yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was mm-hmm. cool. It was, uh, a neat experience. And I got to meet a lot of like, well, I mean, I'm a guy and I was interested in girls and I was like, oh, she's cute. Let me go talk to her. Oh, oh, who's that? Let me go say hi. Let me introduce myself. For me, I wasn't out there to like meet a girlfriend or find the one, you know, I knew I wasn't going to do that there. I just wanted to expose myself. Not like that. The good kind <laughs> of exposure. Yeah. Uh, and I wanted to be like, Hey, how's it going? What's your name? And honestly, like I was just thinking about my best friend who had always encouraged me to like, you know, like, go talk to girls. He would always, like, for me, it was so hard, and it's still hard. Mm-hmm. And, but I was telling him, like, I was telling Danny, like, for me, like, I can talk to girls all day. Like, I can, like, I can oh, go. All day. And, well, all no, day. no, 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 all no, day. no, no. Only 23 hours out of the day. We're going to clip that part right there. We're going to clip that and make <laughs> that a short. I can talk to girls guys. all day. Girls all day. <laughs> I can talk to girls all day. No, yeah. but I yeah. get really nervous and shy when it comes to a girl that I like, mm. but any other person like, Oh, you know, how's it going? You know, I'm just start strike a conversation. Mm-hmm. But, uh, this guy, he's, um, I uh, thank him for making me the man that I am, which, uh, is not a good man, but it's uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, right. curious. Uh, did you teach him because of experience? I played the fifth, <laughs> I played the fifth <laughs> on this Bromigos. Hey, regardless, <laughs> regardless. Thank you. Papa, Papa Lito. Thank you. Papa Lito for showing, uh, I'm innocent. Outs. I I have been out of the game for a long time now. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. There's no baby. <laughs> I was Joel's baby. Oh, he was my baby. He was a baby. Yeah, I trained him very well. I mean, <laughs> <coughs> yeah, he was taught somewhere else. But but the <laughs> good kind. The good kind. Of, yeah. You but, know what's funny is that like as I'm hearing you guys talk about convention, I am excited, but I never experienced it. Like, you've never gone? I only went, I think, once or twice. Oh. And because I didn't grow up in the Apostolic Assembly, All right. 
it was foreign to me mm. like what this was like it was a convention and mm. it was exciting that a lot of people from different churches were going to go and you could see like different people mm. but when i started to hear like oh yeah like make sure that you go you know knowing that you could meet someone right i was like what and i had heard about this i had mm. heard about lobby ministries and mixers and stuff but i never experienced it and mm. much less after i got married but like it's interesting so do you guys feel like it really is a good place to meet someone or no. I mean, you know, to I, meet someone as like friends and mm. getting to know people. Sorry. And then, uh, uh, but when it comes to like the one, no, it's yeah. more like mm. a good place to meet and make connections. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you know, maybe those connections can lead to the one or, you know, uh, I, yeah. I feel like essentially like a lot of, a lot of the people that go to the lobby ministry, um, either they're literally going there just so they can find. So a lot of, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but, Maybe a lot of them could be kind of desperate. And at that point, it's just like, if, I feel like it could be like speed dating where they're just a boom, right. boom, 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 you know? Um, but if you don't, like, for example, I don't feel like we no. went like that. So we were like talking to people and we we're just socializing and just being open people. And we were yeah. just meeting a lot of people. And we actually you know? started our new um, business. Oh, yeah. Hey, we are actually really great wingmen. 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 And we started Wingmen Wing. Industries. Wingmen Got Industries. It. Yeah. What is this entitled? Danny? president um why don't you go ahead and answer it ceo <laughs> <laughs> um so um uh whew, oh, hold on i gotta think about it all right we had a client you know she was like desperate <laughs> oh, so, so you guys do both we're men, not name dropping here men we're not and females. No, we're not name. yeah men females men. yeah we we could yeah I mean, yeah we do all things you wing man whoever needs the help yeah, yeah exactly so you mm. just contract us be like hey this is a target mm. um you know i yeah. have this information here are his files or her files uh social you know birth certificate mm. blood type all the stuff and then you know we get blood type. yeah we, we start working on it we we get close to the client and you know we we, we build that rapport we got to build the rapport yes we we you, you know. have to build up a relationship and then be like okay who is he who is she you know um and then that's how it started with our yeah. first client we yeah. we were like oh that's okay so we're just gonna say uh jane was interested in joe and we're like all right let's go to joe we go to and start talking to joe um and then eventually jane comes in and then we start up the conversation we're just mm -hmm. talking about our church they're talking about their church we're talking about like oh yes. this is so cool and then i'm like hey um i would love to go to your church let me get your digits let me get your ig you mm -hmm. know and now he's my get best social you, you do know. it for the client yes yes, for yes. The client. it's all for yes. the client essentially our, our our goal on our mission statement is you know to get jane and joe talking we want we want them to get that connection you know yeah. um as soon as that happens you know it's, it, all chemistry. it's, it's literally i mean you could consider this kind of like a like an uber in in the relationship status so, so you so, could say it's flirt to convert no they're no already no they're already converted they're already converted <laughs> no i know but, but converting them to jane we're, we're just so trying to get get into uh, that we're just we're trying converting to converting to we're just trying to get jane to the, her destination that's there you it. go you know, so that's that's what I'm saying. You know, we 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 are we are the transportation. You You're know, making we, interactions. We're possible. making interactions possible. We're trying to build as much uh, chemistry. Because I, um, but you know, the uh, after we do uh, our part, you know, we can't hold their hands. They exactly. Gotta, you know, they got. They have to do it. Themselves. That's you know, we finalize the the reports, and that's it. That's us. That's all. We bring them together. We and it's up to them and see if mm -hmm. there's the connection and right. if it'll work out. And after that, we just leave with our 500 bucks yeah. for the night and that's it. Uh, we, you know, we, I we found a, a review on Yelp that said that they were, they didn't have a successful like interaction. Well, like uh, this. As far as, wing, on, as, far as wingman industries. So it was uh, wingman ministries. Uh -huh. This is from uh, girl stole my car. 805 mm -hmm. said that the interaction only lasted five seconds and that it wasn't, See, a good interaction. We don't. That's not that's, our part. Yeah. We're done. Oh, so you're so, not. No, that's so okay. that's we, on them. So before that interaction could even take place, that interaction was just a, a, a thought of an imagination to that person. So that's what we are. You know, we bring that idea to life. Now, whether or not that imagination plays out to how they hoped it was gonna, you know, yeah, that's that's beyond our control. You know, that's another five hundred bucks. Yeah, that's wait, wait, you know. wait. so you're charging five hundred bucks for the imagination to possibly get to no that not point? to possibly we it's get just the interaction yes, yes. any the kind interaction. of interaction. Yes. We, you, uh, our our we, job is to do one plus one we don't do what happens yeah after we that. don't we don't fill in the equation you after do that PEMDAS, the no whole PEMDAS. we don't PEMDAS. Okay. No, no, no no that's that's an extra 500 um so pretty much what I'm, what I'm trying to say is they 
we we get them talking because mm-hmm. a lot of people are shy, right, know, right, especially you know young ones and, and you know especially in the apostolic you know community. There's a lot of shy people. Not a lot of people are bold enough to you know go for the one. So we have to try to kind of blend them together, mm-hmm. you know, get them going. And as soon as we do, we step back. We let you know we let nature take its course. Nature take its course. Let the spirit move it. You, know, you say drop the man. package on you know. We, you know the package delivered. You're like you know, Amazon. Del- whether they want to return it, that's portion, on them. Open you know? it, return it. Open it, return it. You know, if or they want to keep stolen, it, you know? that's their fault. That's you know? their fault. Yeah. That's you know, we you know, we did we our job. We, we delivered. Yeah, we're the Amazon you know? delivery guys. <laughs> if they want to <laughs> deliver they, the package, if someone yeah. else swoops in and steals <laughs> the package, <laughs> that's what yeah. happened. That's on them. If they wanted to pay that's more for five hundred dollars, if you want to get it back, yeah. If they wanted to pay more for shipping, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys like anticipating getting invited to a lot of weddings? Yeah, we yeah, already got uh, yeah. a couple uh, gigs going yeah. on uh, next year. Or just to get tagged on next the week. Instagram yeah. post. Yeah, yeah. So, so in Definitely. a weird way, they're uh, they're like the matchmakers. The matchmakers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Kind of yeah. like that Netflix show, uh, Indian Matchmaker. In a sense, I mean, you you look at all those bachelorette, actually, you know, they're getting all these people, but there's only going to be one eventually. Mm-hmm. And even still, there's times where that one ends up, you know, they end up divorcing or they end up not even staying together, and it's just, you know, what was it all for? Well, it was about getting them together, you know. Right. So that that's but, just uh, that's just the service that we provide. Yeah, and we had multiple clients that night on Friday night. Yeah. We successful did clients. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For right. our end, successful. Yeah. Was, we right. we did our job. Yes. My question is, since there's only two of you, and I'm I'm assuming that there's plenty of business out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you guys ever have a difficulty keeping track of your clients? All the time. Oh, this again. Uh, <laughs> there was <laughs> there was an incident where some of the clients got mixed up. Uh, it was a busy weekend. You it know, happens. As you know, Black Friday and everything. Um, but, you know, um, we, we, as you know, we're barely starting up. So this is, you know, just one of the few speed bumps. But... At the end of the day, you know, we we work hard in, in what we want. You know, yeah. we, we work hard. We so. do our homework. We study. You know. We look at the competition and we're yeah. like, no, we're going to outdo them. We're going to mm-hmm. work 10 times harder. There's Absolutely. competition? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's other wingmen out there. There's other wingmen, wing women, you know, but there's only one wingman industry. Industries. And Amen. that's that's us, you know. Do you guys plan on expanding next year? I think so. I think uh, there's the possibility of going up to other cities. Mm-hmm. And, and we're also, we're, you know, we're open to taking in, you know, eventually there's going to be more business and we're going to need more than just us too. Yeah. So, you know, we're open to, um, you know, making hiring, 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 you know, in, uh, taking in, interviews. In an ideal situation, what would be the best strategy for attacking a target? Well, we never want you or is it just one here's the time, thing. we never want the prey but, to feel like they're being attacked so no good good cop bad cop there's no good cop bad cop there is only hey we are friendly we love you um you know we're not lions we're not the bad lions we're you know that's not us we're, we're like we little are, meerkats we're like mere, yes we're, we're, we observe we like <laughs> come out and like oh, what's that oh. <laughs> pretty much we you know we observe we we let them know hey we're small you know we're not we're not here to you know attack speak anything. for yourself yeah you but know. we like hey what's that okay and then we go mm-hmm. and we do the job you know. where we introduce like you know. the line with the gazelle gazelle yeah yeah okay. got it and then the got rest it. is just the rest all, is you know all natural it's all nature yeah if the gazelle outruns the line or the line catches the gazelle that's that's nature that's that's nature we just place. introduce them yeah. yes now did this wingman industry start because you were successful with your own love stories <laughs> that's a very great question that's a very fantastic question um, that's a great question for the next podcast yeah <laughs> what love life <laughs> You heard it here. You heard it here first, bro, amigos. They can't help themselves, uh, but they can help you. <laughs> hey, man. What they say? Ouch. You can't do teach, right? So, mm-hmm. put, so yeah. te- put water on the water. burn. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, we're, we're not here to promise uh, love, if that's what you're saying. Okay. I'm not here to find um, love. I'm here to give it. <laughs> but we're... <laughs> Um, you know, we, we've definitely have made a lot of mistakes in our previous, uh, relationships. Yeah, that's true. And all we can do is teach and, and Lear- you know, yeah, we as, learn- as we learn mm-hmm. from it, we can, you know, teach them not teach to the make young the same ladies. mistakes, you know, the young Padawans, um, like, that you makes know, sense. And, and the force, over, over time you learn. I mean, when I was younger, I was shy, 
And now I'm not so shy. No. Okay. When you expose yourself. Yeah. I have a question for specifically for Alex. Uh, for the younger bromigos that probably know of Abocon and convention for the following years, um, knowing the difference between talking to someone and socializing with someone outside of church versus here, what would what would you say is the difference? Is it easier? Is it harder? What would you say is the difference? Um, well, the differences, I guess, would be like, you know, when you go to Apicon, everyone is obviously a Christian or, you know, you assume they're Christian and they come from, you know, a church and they know Christ. So, and a lot of them are single there. Uh, when you're out in the world, obviously, you're going to talk about the world. You're going to be able to. You know, bringing up a lot just, of just to things. clarify, is that is that the question you're asking uh, that, as far yeah, as you know, what, Apicon versus yeah, like, the world or uh, Apicon versus your local church versus the world or local or local? And for people that know about convention but are going there mm -hmm. unknowing because it might be their first time, like yourself, mm -hmm. if it's if it's gonna be cold waters or if it's going to be a smooth transition well I, I don't think this is just my personal opinion but if you're not a christian i don't think if you go there you're gonna you should be looking for a christian girlfriend or yeah I, I think that, the, the the thing about the world thing is when, when you're meeting someone in the world you're starting at a very base level where you need to get to know the person you know you you have no idea what they believe in you have no idea you know if they're crazy, maybe they like to run at night and cuckoo people, you know, just cuckoo, cuckoo, you know, you, you don't know. They could be crazy. They could be cuckoo, you know. I don't um, know what that means. Toxic. Exactly. Exactly. That's Tox what I'm saying. They, they could have very, you know, weird tendencies uh, or just, you know, just bizarre things that you have no idea. So it's like, so there's that, you know, there's, there's so many, you're opening just a door just to, you know, anything. Where if you go to Abacon or, you know, your local church, at least, you know, you, you know, okay, our beliefs are in the same thing. Or, the, you know, they, they, at, to a point, they're all, you know, we roughly. believe in one God, you know, roughly. But you, you kind of know what you're getting into. Um, and, you know, that so it, it gives a good foundation to where you can be. It, it's, a, it's a little bit of a smoother ride, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Um, I have yeah. uh, a question for you, Kez. Um, from a female perspective, how do you, how do you see or portray um, Apicon in itself? I think that I have a disadvantage because I didn't grow up in the assembly. And so for me, like I said, it was kind of foreign to me to hear about how much emphasis a lot of the girls growing up would put on their outfits on like, make sure you get that bomb outfit that's going to bring attention to you so that you could, in a sense, catch a good amount of fish. So that was a lot of pressure the first time I went because I felt like I was trying to impress. catch a fish. I yeah. was trying to impress. But then at the same time, I think that there is also a disadvantage because in the assembly, there's like 10 girls to one guy. Mm -hmm. And I think guys have a huge advantage. Like I'm hearing mm. you guys talk about, you know, whether or not their love lives are successful or not. I do think that they have an advantage in going up to anybody and like, hey, hi, my name is so-and-so, you know, I'm from this church. Whereas I think for a girl, like, unfortunately, if you're not attractive, I don't think you're going to get the same kind of response. And it's it's looked at a little bit different mm. if mm. you're out there and you're like, hi, my name is Kez, like I'm from this church and I like to meet, like you'll either be like perceived as super forward mm, or true. like this girl is like, I mean, she's really trying to catch anyone mm, and okay. then that can be perceived as badly. So I feel like, unfortunately, if you are going like, then you have to have a mindset. I Sorry, I shouldn't say unfortunately if you are going. I should say if you are going, you should have a mindset of like, I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy the services. And if I do go to these areas where an interaction with mm -hmm. with the with the service or not, um, you're at a risk where you may not have the interaction that you mm -hmm. were hoping. That's yeah. my yeah. only thing. And if you need to hire us, just let us know. Yeah. <laughs> not you. But yeah, you good. might want to yeah, go with the women. I think she's good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> just yeah. I think like, she's good. Otherwise, like, or, or unless you have like a really good group of girls where all of you guys are social, all of you guys are like, let's just go meet a lot of people so that it doesn't look like just one person is actively looking because 
then you're on your own. And it's just like, mm-hmm. unless you're targeting like that one person with right. like a group, um, I feel like it's hard to meet people as a yeah, girl. Yeah, I mean, I so the the other thing ideally is, you know, I, I think uh, I agree, you know, for, for women, it is, it is harder for, you know, to fish because in a sense, I feel like for women, it's more like, you're you're not really fishing you you have to kind of anticipate to get caught you're the fish you are the fish you know where the men have to go out and do the you know do the hunting do the do the fishing um and that's what our our service provides you know we get the we get the guy (laughs) to do the fishing you know um our you know i again no name jobs but our last two clients were women and we did not have them go to them we had the man you know strategically we fish had the man them. fish, right. you know, one, they didn't even know he was fishing for her. And we, you know, that's, that's again, that's how high end our service is. That's the good. other one, uh, he didn't even know about her until that day. <laughs> and, you know, and we still got him to go, you know, to pursue. Nice. Um, so, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's what our services provide. But ideally our, our uh, clients, we prefer them to have the mindset, Hey, let's go to Abocon for the services, you know, for the, for the actual, convention Mm -hmm. and if if you know if there's a chance to get caught find someone yeah you know catch a fish you know you know that's what we're here for like take a souvenir oh you know but have your priorities don't go to abacon just for the fish you know go for the bread and then get your fish you know (laughs) that's all i gotta say that's That's all i gotta say you know perfectly said yes okay how about the do's and don'ts of going to um or preparing for Apicon. Don't seem desperate. Don't, don't be desperate. Don't be desperate. Don't peacock your outfit. Mm. And don't be picky either. Uh, picky as in outfits? Mm. Or He's looking at me. He's looking at me. About well, <laughs> it, you know. Well, I, okay. No, también. No, cualquiera. Yeah, don't, Sorry, don't you guys aren't bilingual, be right? Be picky. That's our be podcast. Picky. Huh? Be picky. Uh, we have bilingual, you know. We have bilingual. They're going to learn yeah. Spanish. Spanish. Standards, our services provide not, not bilingual. <laughs> we... We branch out to different languages. Then. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, what about uh, um, logistics? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a don't. I have a don't. Don't just go for the guy or the girl that's in ministry. Like the first mm. person that you see. Oh, it yeah. is an important thing for sure. For sure. But not every singer, musician. PK. Mm-hmm. PK is, you know, all that's cut out. There's an usher in the back, man, that like. <laughs> there, there's preach, <laughs> preach, guys. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. There's a guy preach. in the vending machine that's, that's true. like uh, great. No. You know? I'm taking. I'm taking. <laughs> I'm just I'm Ladies, stop coming for me. Stop coming. Don't no. go for the singers. <laughs> don't go for the preachers. Only. Find yourself yeah. an usher. An yes. usher. They an will usher. usher you through life. Mm. They will sit you down. They will bring you that water, that napkin, that mint that mm. you need. Oh yes. man, we don't will do rock. everything and everything. Yes. Mm. We will open all the doors of your life and That's we will good. give you all the desires of your heart. Wow. Oh. And be there with a the smile. Mm-hmm. And yeah. ready and ready to pick up offering at the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay, no, but logistics, um, planning as far as like hotels, because this this is uh. definitely a, a big a big place to go to. Mm. Oh yeah. And you're dealing with That was a yeah. Not an issue for us. No, not worked necessarily. Out. It worked you know. out. It worked out, you know. I, like I said, there's really one hotel that's like the main spot. Um, that's the Westin, right? That's oh, no, the Westin. Or the Wyatt. Yeah, the, Westin? Um, both. The Westin. The, the Hyatt. Hyatt. The Hyatt. 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 Yeah. I don't know why. I was Book in July, guys. Hyatt. Yeah. The event is in November. Book in June or July. Yes. Mm. Yes. You'll have and your room. If you're planning to be in the lobby ministry, then go. You know, book the Westin. If you're not, if you're trying to, you know. I guess that's a really good way of putting because the Hyatt is really close to the convention center. So if you're trying to get quick seats or really good seats in the convention center, which I highly agree or I highly recommend because, you know, the sound, the sound sounds a lot better when you're on the ground or in the lower levels. Yeah. than it does when you're late and, you know, in the upper levels um, like we were. You know, because of, because of a because of our service, you know, at times you know, oh, we were busy, you know, yeah. we were busy, you know, logistics and stuff. Um, but um, yeah, highly recommend, you know. Highly recommend the the Hyatt, but if you're really really trying to be late at night at the West at the Westin, probably book the Westin to be safe. So but in yeah, other words, book, a hotel. Book, book in advance, yeah. pay a little bit less, mm-hmm. um, 
and uh, get there early so you can get good seats because if not, you're going to get not the best seats, exactly, nosebleed yeah, yeah. seats. And um, find a group and, too. And with that, um, our sponsor purple. is the West. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Do you guys have any recommendations for staying up um, so late? Uh, yeah. Just Red Bull? The Red Bull? Red Bull. Yeah, I had, a, I had a Red Bull. I had, um, I had Low Carb Monster. Um, mm. uh, you know, there's there's coffee. Coffee. I, I had cold brew two nights in a row. And I also got it today because, you know, I actually was, I was, I started liking the cold brew. Oh, What's an early night at Abacon? Uh, an early night. As soon as the service is over, um, so like 9.30? I mean, no, like I, I, I understand what your question, because usually a regular night is something like 3 a.m. Like everybody's out to like 3 a.m. I'm partying out there. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, maybe it starts dying out at 3 a.m. So what's a what's a good late night? <clears throat> a good late night? I mean, all night. If I'm being honest with you. I one of our That's clients too much. One of our clients stayed up all night. I'll tell you that I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh you know, we need our rest. So <laughs> we we don't you, you couldn't stay. Yeah, down. and you know our, well, we don't and then just, you walk away. We don't just like one right. When we're right. done, we're not done. We still like yeah, we follow up. We follow you know. up. We uh, stayed in like 30 minutes after our bedtime, just chatting in bed. Bedtime. We were just like talking about like, oh, what did we do wrong? What did we do right? Obviously, we didn't do anything wrong. Our room. In our room. You didn't have to tell them that we shared the bed. Well, I mean, we have, we just started you, you up. You just so. told them that. <laughs> in our bed. In our you bed. heard it here first, bro. One bed. Because uh, the, prices, was, uh, the prices are a king California bed, all right? Maybe, so maybe this has something to do with the love story, you know, their love stories, sharing one bed, you know? Look, we're just starting out again. Next <laughs> next year, come around, next we're going to we'll have, have separate beds. We'll have separate beds. We'll have separate rooms. We'll have separate rooms. They only shared one toothbrush. You know? Yes. Yeah, just well, one. You know, gas prices. Is stuff. it common to share a room out there? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Right here, and share yeah. a bed too. Share a shower too if you need to. Save water. Save water. It's <laughs> California to the drought. All right. Yeah. Um, we didn't do that. We no. Do that. I do have a question. Hmm. Is it a turn off if you hmm. see a girl, girl's outfit peacocking? Do you guys know what that means? Uh, like they're showing a little too much. Yeah, too you much know how the peacock is like all its feathers, like all it's, the colors it's of the rainbow. Grand. It's, it's, it's yeah. massive. It's yes. Well, for me, it does. For me, it's like you know, you're trying you're a little. Hard. I, I was telling um, I was telling Alex uh, last night. I saw um, I saw a girl that looked like she just came back from a quince. <laughs> Yeah, I she mean, wasn't the quinceanera. Yeah, funny. and if anything, she was the quince. Yeah, she was the. Quince- no, she was. Yeah, that's, that's what it seemed like. But um, yeah, no, me. I mean, yeah, everybody has their. You know, maybe people like quinces. You know, and they love quinceaneras, and you know, they want to find their. Are there guys that what, what? that show dress so much? A peacock. and peacock? Um, it, it, I feel like it's, it's difficult. Like, was there any brother with a metallic suit? Um, all gold, all no, white suit, I didn't all see red anyone. suit. No. I didn't see, suit. you know, the most, the most, nice. you know, there's the some most, good suits out there, but not yeah. like the most edgiest thing I've probably seen was like a suede suit. Okay. And even that, you know, I or thought the it was height a nice, of the yeah, hair, a nice perhaps. Suit, you know, no, the hair, no, the oh. hair, you know, a lot of people, it, it seemed very moderate for the, on the guy's end, mm-hmm. at least. Because I remember, I'm not trying to, you know, drop any names, mm-hmm. but if you catch my drift, right. there was a brother years ago who cared deeply about his hair, cared deeply about his yeah. hair. And it mm-hmm. was up here like i feel like it peacock. could have had its he own peacock. instagram account peacock. yeah yeah hair. definitely a peacock uh this year i didn't see if anything I, I saw i feel like the new trend is going towards you know buzzed heads oh really you know what, yeah. what's going on no no, no. no. Oh, okay. No, uh, for me oh. with the girls you know real quick um yeah no that is a turn off i think i personally would want to someone like humble and someone that you know like they dress modestly mm-hmm. because you know they're not there you know they're they don't want attention you know of course they do mm. but not that kind of attention you but know, not, not so simple guy. that they're mm. wearing like yeah a jean skirt and a t-shirt yeah yeah right mm-hmm. okay okay what about um let's say it's someone new coming into the game mm-hmm. um what are we talking about as far as age groups mm. age groups and um like what are you gonna see out there 
Oh, like, I know there's a big, there's a somewhat of an age gap between like, both can you of you age two. out of this? Yeah. Can yeah. You, is there like, that's what we kind of talked about. Too. Yeah. yeah. So we talked about how like, um, well, first of all, it's not like you have your name or your age on your forehead so everyone can see. And but I'm like, assuming there isn't any 37 year old hermanos out there. Yeah, no, I don't think. Well, I would. I think I actually maybe were, saw one. But one or you know two what? The way people. he was dressed and the way he was kind of. Um, he dressed very young, like in, in a suit. Oh, okay. He was very, you know, um, you know, he was also like his groom. He was very well groomed and everything. Um, the only reason I kind of tell and I'm kind of assuming as well is because he had a, a lot of white hairs on his beard. Mm. Okay. And it, it, it was very trimmed and everything. But, it, you know, I saw white hair. I saw canas. I saw canas on his, on his beard. Um, so that's why I'm assuming maybe he was like 30s, you know, some around there, maybe 40. Yeah. But yeah, maybe, you know, there's people who like they have like white hair really yeah, quick and young oh, hair. i don't know i would say like the age age range for like the majority of the people like the majority not everybody mm -hmm. would be 20 to 30 really i thought you were gonna say like 16 i know i thought I you feel were gonna like go some oh, of those oh, groups are young, young, young people man. not a lot of young yeah, people no it's definitely like yeah. 15 through yeah there has 30. to be a really young group for sure there is because i'll tell you what the the last now you didn't stay the last night oh, because you remember you, know, you had, a, you had, had to work on the ex, uh, expense reports and everything um right, I mean, but um work on the expense reports yeah so i i ended up staying um inventory. just you know inventory. For, for inventory purposes but um you know the the night that saturday night I went to the to the Westin, you know, to provide services uh, or you know, display services. Uh, hand out if cards. anybody, you know, right. hand out Scan cards. The QR and code. And I noticed a lot of the. Clientele. Now you had said before the girls were outnumbered. Yeah, or no, I I'm sorry, uh, the girls were outnumbered. No, or I feel like guys, guys are guys outnumbered. are outnumbered. Yeah. Now when I went to the Westin Saturday night, the girls were heavily outnumbered, five to one. Oh. Yeah, heavily, um, and a lot of young guys, a lot of fifteen to maybe twenty. Now, there was probably some 23, 24, 26, 27, you know, maybe around there. I couldn't find them. But a lot of them were were, were pretty young. How old are you, Danny? I'm 24. Okay. And I'm 28. So there's, there's a gap. You so know? you'd be on the later age. Later yeah. Age. I'm in the low standards the age. minorities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't believe in low standards. No, we, we don't. You know, I do. Everybody. So in other words, if they lower, someone though. like... It's technically, any anybody that's eighteen and over, as far yes. as the guys, you got to be careful out there. There could be some, oh, absolutely, some traps. absolutely. And I, I feel like in, in today's, um, you know, with makeup being a huge, um, implement, you know, people, you know, ladies love to implement makeup nowadays um, more than more so than before. Than men, oh, oh um, yeah, I mean, than before, more so than before. Uh, you know, sometimes it could be tricky into knowing exactly how old they are. You really have to check social medias to be sure, because you never know. Or check IDs. You know? Be like, ma'am, can you? I mean, you're not going to check it. Hi, my name ID. is. Does, and does the Wingman Industries provide that service as well? Yes, we do. We do. Yes, we do. We, do yeah. our we make connections. We, we check we, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, MySpace, AOLs. Mm -hmm. We check the uh, records, the yes. databases from all hospitals, mm -hmm. make sure that the age is, is correct. Yes. Yes. Like if there was you someone know. that was wanting your guys' services... And they were unsure of the age or of demographic the, of that mm -hmm, person. Mm -hmm. You guys would investigate for them. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And provide that info. Background, yeah. background checks and everything. Yeah. You know, we we want to make sure we're getting in in the business with the right people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I think I would use their service if I was single. Would you, Kaz? I think I would have used their service. Yeah, yeah, yeah for oh, sure. Oh, and then uh, promo code um, Turkey Gobble Gobble <laughs> for this weekend. Turkey um, Gobble Gobble. You'll get fifty um, percent off for uh, for next year's. No, <laughs> just for well, it's, it's got to be for. I mean, Thanksgiving's already coming. Up. Oh, that's true. Do you guys but, do uh, other other services like uh, what's what's the next one? The upper room or <laughs> district conventions? Access conventions? services. Access services. Access services. Um, yeah, we we'll, we'll definitely have discounts for those days. Though the tricky ones, it's like when you know it's at a local church or mm -hmm. you know maybe they're not even in, in you know they're in different churches, but it's just like there's no events kind of coming up. Those are the tricky ones to get through. You know, so you know we. You know, our prices are a little higher, but, yeah, you know, for convention, we had Apocon Op Turkey Gobble Gobble um, 2022. That was our promo code. Um, you get 50% off. Um, and then also you do get, you do get. Um, that's still 250 bucks. You do get. Um, hey, but if we find yeah, the love but, of your life, dude. The and then love that's of your priceless. Life. That's priceless. That priceless. Yes. Here, here's another thing. And if you refer 10 people, um, you get a discount on, your on you know, on anyone. You get to specifically choose who gets your discount. 
Oh, you know, okay. I, it, unless unless you know, say the first one didn't work out, then you can use it. You can apply it to yourself. But say your love story worked, you know, and you were for ten people, you know, you can give you can gift it to you know, gift it to a loved one. Gift would another, you would you have used them? I think I would have gifted it to a loved one to fa- to have found me. Oh, you would have given like, it would to you a loved one. Have used hired us to get you to guess. Mm. I I don't think I I would need the service, but no. But if you were like before, like just scaredy cat and stuff, like. I don't think I ever was like that. No, but let's just say you were what you were. Oh, let's say I was? Yeah. Mm. Are you saying I am? No. Or was? It was. In that I situation. Don't think I was. <laughs> okay, now clearly you didn't this use was, our... This was, I did this yeah. by myself. No, right. I, I think I kind of was part of it. That was way before We Men Industries. But it was a, it was a preclude or a, yeah. um, what's it called? It, it was, was, it was a gonna prototype. Be, prototype yeah, prototype, prototype oh, before. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had yeah. no idea. But we, we, we've we been working on this for years. Yeah. I mean, people, I we just people think yeah. we just started, but we've been, I mean, yeah. a lot of prayer and, and, prayer and fasting. We got some great through this. big things for next year. Yeah. We're going to branch out. We're going to have interns. interns uh, we're going to yeah. be hiring. So if you yeah. submit your application. Anybody that's looking for a job, they will be paying to wingman no we don't mm-hmm. pay the first oh, year yeah, yeah, no, the first year is an internship. Internship. yeah, yeah. 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 But, you after know. after four years you actually potentially uh open to a position right yeah. you can journey out uh, journey out the you know. lord will bless you the for lord, the first yeah. year the first year you know god will make a way do you think it's more successful to find someone in your local church district convention or apocon um well it, it's difficult because um local church you know um Oh, we have uh, our, we first, have our intern. first intern. We have our in. first a, a guest. Intern. Uh, she applied today. Um, Cami, say hi to the Bromigos. Hi. Bromiga, say hi. Hi, Cami. You want to say, say hi? Say hi. You want to say hi? And she's a little shy. Uh, she's a little shy. That's fine. Um, yeah. So uh, the the question was, uh, is it harder for uh, local churches? or, or what was Where would you find more success in your love stories? Um, you know, local church. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and have this one out to you. I don't know. It's uh, so uh, I've thought about it, and I was in a relationship with someone that was in my church, and I am no longer in that relationship. And I think um, if it doesn't work out, it's kind of it makes it complicated, you know, or it doesn't make it complicated, but it's just like it's kind of like. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just I would say branch out and go to another church and find someone if that is possible. Don't move to the other church. Just you know, be open to looking in in other areas. You know, you're yeah. not promised the one in your local church. You know, don't be fixated on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, yeah, of course it'd be nice. You know, if they were there, that you know that'd be awesome. Out, yeah. that'd, that'd be a blessing. But you know, sometimes that's not the case, and you know, you have to. You, you can't put. You can't put your eggs all in one basket. Mm-hmm. You, know, you really got to um, be open. You got to be open. Just so you bro amigos know, this is true because she wasn't in my local church. This is true. Yeah. I mean, what do you mean? We were in the same church. No, I was in a different church before I came over here. Oh, well, I guess. I guess. At some point we were in the same church. So, yeah. Eventually you're right, I guess. we were at the same church. Yeah. We were at the same time. Yeah. Anything anything else you guys want to throw in? But I do agree with you. It is definitely difficult when you've made certain relationships in the church. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to throw in about Apicon that uh, a newcomer would want to know or um, be prepared to encounter over there? Uh, With all seriousness, just like look up or find your local, you know, apostolic church. And if you're curious and you're really interested, um, go check it out, even just for one day, for um, or if you want to go the weekend, um, it's really good. The services are great. The atmosphere is awesome. Mm. The the praising, I love it. Um, it's just it's phenomenal, you know. And it's a one way to learn about God and one way to meet new people. Um, uh, everybody's friendly. Like I met like not just mm. like um like um, what's called brothers and sisters i met pastors i met bishops i you know i met like i would just say hi to random people i am very social but at the same time even if you're not social um you'll feel welcome oh nobody's gonna reject you no one's gonna say anything like who is this person or who are you people are gonna be like who are you you know like what's your name my name is blah 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 you know and maybe you'll find me and then i'll find you and you tell me like hey i'm a bromigo i listen to your guys's i need your services (laughs) services were different like 
Oh, I, all right. Cool. It's funny because there, there was another there was another Bromigo who actually told me at, at convention. She was telling me she's like, oh yeah, I actually listened to you guys' uh, podcast. Oh so, really? Yeah, yeah. And she's uh, she's she's from that city, Long Beach. You know? Oh, wow. So yeah, all the way yeah. to Long Beach. Yeah, she was. Shout out to shout out to you, Bromigo. No, no name drop. No, no, no name drop. She are, won't be, are she won't we, be on are the podcast. Are we still Bromigos or are we Bromigas? I, that's Is what I was it? saying. I I always thought it was Bromigos and Bromigos. All right. Um, we, got, we got Bromigas. I'm a Bromigas. Okay. So it's we, had, we had a Bromiga in Long Beach, and yeah. um, we actually have some Bromigos in. Uh, yeah, more Bromigos in, in Long in, Beach, actually. In Portland as well. In Oregon. Oh, Portland, Oregon. In Portland. We're well. reaching out. And yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely reaching out. That's mm-hmm. powerful. Yeah. But yeah, to kind of piggyback on, on what he was saying about the welcoming in, in convention, it, it really is welcoming. There was a. We were walking, we were walking down, and. Um, we had one of the brothers from our church. Uh, he was talking to another pastor, and the uh, the pastor, you know, the brother from our church was hyping me. Oh, you know, I'm a worship leader, and blah 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 blah. And uh, the pastor was like, you know, I love you. I would love you for my daughter. And yeah, I mean, I was just like, um, thank you, but I don't know who your daughter is. I'm taken. I'm flattered, <laughs> but you know, uh, you know. So I'm so good. this person from your local church wingman do you out yeah yes to a yes pastor's daughter. and that's what we were saying there's competition but that's a, that was a competition but we're number one we're number oh, one I we're see, gonna I take see. them out we're, we're, we're you know that's you guys that's, are number one yeah we specialize in, in and, that and for those who don't know they actually do um the the AppleCon actually is a week-long uh event they mm-hmm. normally start the first week of monday. uh the monday of thanksgiving week and they keep going all the way through thanksgiving so there's multiple days that you'll you'll be able to uh, go to some of the services that they have. A lot of the preachers preachers are good. They'll switch out different preachers. I think, oh, really good. I think our pastor. I don't know if our pastor. Uh, I don't know if he preached. I know last year he um, did. Yeah, but I don't know if he if it was this year that he was no, going to go. I you know I always think of it like but it's almost it's almost like an all star weekend where you you're gonna get the best pastors uh, you know best preachers you know to be to be preaching out there. Um, you know, are also local pastors and in, in, yeah. in the churches of the Apostolic Assembly, yeah. so it's uh, you know, it's it's a really it's a really great experience. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's a good experience. Um, fin- uh, fin- financially, how much do you think a Bromigo should already be prepared to spend on this entire trip? Um, close, yeah. close and all. Yeah, like hotel, clothes, food. Oh man, offering. It, it, it really depends on what you know, what type of experience you're you're wanting to have. Um, but again, you know, it, it's best to book in, you said July, July is probably the best time to book. And if you're um, going to hire us, make sure you have that. If you're going to hire us, make bucks. sure to book them you know, in July as well. Take, it's cheaper um, if you share the room. Yes. Yes. And the Way shower. cheaper than if you share the room. Mm-hmm. And you know, cause those hotel prices, they'll, they'll be spiking even yeah. in July. And then they'll just oh, skyrocket. And, and eventually, you know, if the, you wait too long, they, they end up getting, you know, booked they're up. booked out, you yeah. know, so it's like, you're going to have to go to another farther you know, hotel, hotel, and hotel you, have way. you have to drive all that. And I'd say budget for 500, you know, you for might sure. be, 500 you might for be a lucky and, and find that girl and, or guy, you, mm-hmm. you're going to want to take him to in and out. You want to take him somewhere. And so, you know, you got to have some cash on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, side note. So we're talking about, you know, relationships and finding the one or finding, you know, a possible, you know, suitor of a girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, Danny and I were both single, but what about you, Kaz and Joel? Can you maybe tell us a little bit just about or maybe tell the bro Migos? Like, you know, obviously you guys didn't go to convention because you you were married and you know you, you guys are like, oh you know, we've we've been out there and we've done that. But what about like for like people that are hopeful and they want to find the one, you know? Um what do you what tips or what you know what things do you guys have to say to the bromigos bromigas too that are watching us like I, we just i just want to know you know because you guys are married you guys have also like known each other for a while but what what do you want to give what advice do you want to give to people that are serious about like finding someone you know i think uh the way danny worded it uh was pretty good about Apocon. um it's a great place to go socialize and meet different people uh both male and female and make connections and potentially that could lead to the one uh but don't go there thinking that's the main goal the the end goal yeah. that the main goal that you're going to be finding someone that day because even if you were there the entire week it may not go your direction and you'll leave 
um, disappointed and discouraged yeah. thinking this is the one event out of the entire year mm -hmm. that everything was supposed to go my way mm -hmm. and it didn't go my way. So um, I think if you go there, kind of like how Danny said, go for the service, go for, go the, for bread. the preaching, go for the bread. If you potentially get some fish, fish. out of it or some fish bait services <laughs> fish, uh, yeah, you, know. um, you could potentially bait, whoa, make connections over there and eventually meet the one or maybe it might help you and uh, you learn a couple things from these events mm -hmm. and you can bring it back and meet the one mm -hmm. at your local church or a sister church yeah. or maybe the one wasn't there that year right. yeah, yeah. So you, regardless you of the, if the one's not there you don't meet the one it's it's great um i don't want to say practice but it's great. Uh, it helps. It really helps you open being, being open to socializing and just you know being able to chit chat and make small talk and um, you just meet different personalities and you know you can sort of you know adapt to you know different personalities and you're not just shy. You know, um, it, it's it's a really great way to socialize. Um, yeah. What about you, Kes? I think for me, it really depends on really narrowing down if you're open because mm -hmm. i think that that's something that we like to say like we're open to a relationship but a lot of the times we're not and we think that that doesn't really translate when we're having interactions but it does because if deep 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 down you're not open to this you're not going to attract something that can be long term or something that can be sustainable and so you will walk away from that possibly thinking like I'm not attractive or I didn't uh, I didn't attract the right kind of person. But it really ha you have to have that set in stone in your mind. I am open. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that when you believe that and you align that with God's will, it will happen for you. Because Amen. I, think, I think even in, in our church, local churches, a lot of the times like we're like, oh, no, I'm not open to anybody in my church, perhaps. But it's like, are you really looking at what's available to you in your local church, in your local oh. district? It doesn't have mm -hmm. to be at a convention for you to finally see what are the options, who is available to me. Like, and I'll use my relationship as an example. I think for a long time I was looking for a specific kind of guy and I thought I was open, but I really wasn't. And until I really was like, no, I... I want to be in a successful relationship with the right person, whoever that may be, it happened for me. And so I think that first and foremost, that should be a question that you figure it out because if not, you're going to be disappointed and you're going to think that God's not providing for you, but it's not that like either you got to let something go and realize that's just not for you and God has something better or maybe it's just not your time. Maybe you got to keep waiting, but yeah, for sure. Are you really even open? Mm -hmm. And what does that even mean for you? That would be my advice. Preach. That's good. Thanks for sharing. That's great. All right. Well, yeah, we're getting close to pretty much ending that. Um, thank you for everybody that came to the podcast, including... Well, you. Danny sleeps here. Yeah, that is true. That's <laughs> we're, we're, we're invading his space. But I want to I take advantage and uh, do a quick shout out to Kazin and her podcast, Hear Me Out. The link will be in the description for... You get guys, the Bromigos and Bromigas that want to go check out an awesome podcast. Go check out her podcast. It's amazing. Uh, there's a lot of uh, more serious conversations that even we don't have that that series of conversations, but they're not good. too serious. They're not too serious, but there's good humor in there. There's a uh, uh, good lessons to learn from from there, and uh, it's it's definitely something that if you guys know about Applecon. You guys definitely want to look into <laughs> Hear Me Out. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool, cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, yeah, that is uh, that. Is that. Let's uh, hit the little outro. Oh, I thought it was going to be the clap. The claps? I'll do the clap right now. Let's clap it out. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Love you.